what's going on welcome to asian cosell and finally what well, guess what yes christy sides has been let go or you know the got the boot and or fired from um the indiana fever yes so so we got rid of christy sides now the question is who would replace her so yep so after one year caitlin clark will already have a new head coach yeah so their sides yep so she is gone and side only spent two seasons as head coach of fever before getting axed she had a simple message for fans of the team after the firing took place leave it better than you found it she tweeted the fever also released their own statement after the firing so we are incredibly thankful to coach size for embracing the challenge of leading us through an integral transition period over the last two seasons while also positioning us for future growth fever president uh kelly uh, Krosoff said while decisions like these will never are never easy it is also imperative that we remain bold and serve in the pursuit of our goals which includes maximizing our talent and bringing another WMB championship back to indiana now, Coach Side was incredible representative of Fever in our community, and we wish her nothing but success in the future. Side did help the team improve as a Fever played to a better record each year she was head coach. Yeah, but the year before she came to the job, the team was five and thirty-one. That improved to thirteen and twenty-seven as her first year, and then she bumped it up to twenty and twenty. As said, yep, she wasn't the right coach for Caitlin Clark, so. And Fever also made the WNBA players in the first year with Clark under Kim. Still wasn't enough to keep her as team's head coach. And they were now on the hunt for services from a rival coach. And, you know, everyone heard, like Connecticut coach Stephanie White has emerged for a candidate for the Fever job. Of course, Chicago Sun-Times. White previously served as Fever's head coach in 15 and 16, where she led the team to a 37-31 record. She also played for the team back when she was in the league herself. So, you know, yep, Indiana Fever, you know, there she goes. And White moved on to Coach Vanderbilt before re-entering the league with the Sun. There she led them to an NBA Finals appearance in her first year as head coach. White is still under contract to end of next season, but she's been linked to both Fever and the Sky. So it's possible that other teams are on the hunt for her service as well as there are six head coach vacancies around the league. So there's still an off season ahead, but there's no telling who could end up as the favorite for the job coaching Caitlin Clark. So we'll, so we'll have to see, you know, and you know, this off season continues for uh, Clark and yeah, we got to see who it will be so it's not going to be sides we know that for sure and hopefully we can get her a coach that's going to help help caitlin clark and you know the indiana fever to lead into a much better season and a championship contention so you know we got the team we got the market we got caitlin clark the, and you know the WNBA. we got that for uh indiana so we'll just go as far as Caitlin Clark takes us and the head coach who will steer it in the right direction. So that's what we're looking at. So we'll have to see. So let's just stay tuned. All right. So if any of you enjoyed any of this, uh, please uh, give me the HKO special. Help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. And what do you guys think? Uh, should we get Stephanie White? Should we go for someone with Cheryl Miller? You know, indiana based so let's find out so what do you guys think all right take care and i'll see you in my next video